We're now going to uh, go ahead and take a look at negative exponents and what does that mean? And so this con uh, confuses many students early on because they think of the old idea of what an exponent is, right? Our definition, multiply. So thinking about um, if I say seven to the power of two, you think you know the answer is 49 because that means seven times seven. Multiply seven with itself two times. Now, if I say what is seven to the negative two, a lot of students think, okay, multiply. They think, and it's incorrect. They think the answer is negative 49, okay? You see the negative exponent, but this is not correct, okay? Bad, okay? Now, where does this come from? Let's go ahead and think about um, um, this idea of, of seven to the three divided by seven to the five as an example, okay? What would seven to the negative two be equal to? Well, one way to think about it, that's seven times seven times seven over seven times seven times seven times seven times seven, five times. When you then go ahead and cancel these out, right? There's three on the top, one to one correspondence. You're left with one over seven times seven or one over seven squared. So then you see. Now, if you think about our algebra rules or rules of exponents, seven, cubed divided by 7 to the power of 5 is 7, 3, subtract 5, which is 7 to the negative 2. And so that motivates, again, a definition for negative integers, that somehow negative integers are the reciprocal, right? They're the reciprocal of the positive integer. And so it doesn't equal negative 49, right? In this situation, we now know that 7 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 49. And again, that comes from our um, this transitive property that if this equals this and this equals this, then those two have to be equal to each other. And so that motivates our definition for, for uh, negative exponents, right? x to the negative 2 would be equal to 1 over x squared. And again, the way you could generate that is how about what is uh, what is that equal to right what do you do this is equal to x 4 minus 6 which is x to the negative 2 which would be still this here because if you cancel the 4 out there's still 2 left on the bottom that gets connected to uh, scientific notation right and well, here is that what I was trying to explain here, kind of that rule, our definition then, a to the power of negative n equals one over a to the n. You can take a look at using this, um, these, this rule, this pattern again. Remember, a lot of math is generated through patterns, right? Um, negative exponents, right, um, follow this pattern, right? If you look and you keep reducing, a cubed is three, a two is one, is two of them, eight, one is one, eight is zero equals one, we learned that before. And then if we go down by one, we're dividing by a every time to go down. So you'll see as our exponents decrease by one, so do our, um, our exponents decrease by one, so then we have this pattern of these reciprocals of these start to be generated. And so then this becomes our pattern. If you just try numbers, five to the power of three, right? equals 5 times 5 times 5, All right? What is 5 squared equal to 5 times 5, All right? And so you will see if you generate that pattern, you'll get down to 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 5 squared or 25, okay? 1 over 25. So think about that there. That generates us to here... Um, looking at uh, connecting back to scientific notation and why when you have a negative exponent, right, it's a reciprocal, you end up with a very small number here. And so you would end up having to move the decimal 13 places, 14 places to the left. Remember, when you divide by a power of 10, you move the decimal to the left. And then when you multiply by a power of 10, you move the decimal to the right two, three, four, five. And so this here would be 9.16 times 10 to the negative six, because I'm gonna put in scientific notation. 
And so again, we're counting. When it has a negative exponent, the numbers are really small. Again, this shows you the inverse operation, right? Of 10 to the power of 6 times this equals 9.16. And that's where this comes. This is where that interplay comes from. But what we're looking at here, again, when you see a small number, that gets us to this idea that we have a negative exponent, right? Especially when you talk about scientific notation. So when I see that, I know the number is going to be really small. This is a small number, so I know my exponent will be negative.